Hey fish freaks and fish lovers, Tola here, McLovin the Fish Channel. I'm going to do a video on the UV sterilizer. I did a couple videos of these, or on these, actually I did four videos on these, um, part one, two, three, and four. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to kind of rehash those a little bit. Um, so I'll be uploading those into this video, but I'm going to skip two and three just to kind of speed it up a bit, or it'd be a 30 minute video. And sorry, I've been doing these possum videos, if that's uh, been irritating any of you guys, but I wanted to get, uh, I know I said I was going to do some videos this weekend on, on the aquarium, <clears throat> but then a couple nights ago, while I was sitting here editing a video, a possum walked out of my closet. So, uh, uh, any of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll put a little link right here so you guys can uh, go see who Pedro the possum is. Uh, I'll be taking Pedro to a uh, like a rehabilitation wildlife place or something tomorrow because uh, you can't keep him. It's against the law in this state to keep him as a pet, even though I might have considered it. So back to it. All right. This is the AA green killing machine UV sterilizer. And how the UV sterilizer works is, as you can see inside the tube here, there's a ultraviolet bulb. It is hooked up to a power head. So it takes the water in, runs it around the bulb, and back out the power head which in turn kills parasites the bad bacteria that you don't want that can cause the you know, that causes the algae blooms and the, it'll help uh, control um, yeah the algae blooms and the bacterial blooms so you'll see when I start the video here the other old videos here in a minute especially the first one you'll see how bad I actually had a bacterial bloom in this tank. You couldn't see the back wall, which you'll, you'll see it in a minute. So anyway guys, enjoy that part and I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, as you can see, I have a serious case of bacteria bloom. You can't, you really just can't even, it's, it's probably the worst I've ever seen it in my tanks. This one started about three weeks ago and it's just not, not getting better at all. Um, I don't know if you can even see, you can't even see to the back of the tank. You should be able to see, if you look from this side, you can see that there's the uh, intake for the power filter. And this is a, let me back up so you can see here. This is a 37 gallon bow front. That's a pretty bad bloom. So, doing a little reading, watching a few videos, I've decided to try a UV sterilizer. So, picked this one up today, and it is in the tank now, right here. goes up almost the whole tanks hooked up to the power filter we will see if it will take care of this bloom like everybody says it will okay this is gonna be the fourth and final video of my review of the double-a green killing machine UV sterilizer I am very very happy with this product um, make sure that you look at the or watch the first three videos on it. This is the 72 hour mark after going from an aquarium that looked like it was had a gallon of milk poured into it to what you're about to see. So if you've seen the other videos, um, you'll know that you could not, you know, you just have to go back and see them. You couldn't see the back of that aquarium. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see the texture in the wall in the back. Uh, you couldn't even see to the middle of the aquarium. 
Um, let's see. You can see all the way through the other side. It still has just a small little bit of milkiness left for or of the uh, that bacterial bloom, but that's going to be gone, you know, probably by morning or the next day. And I think we're we've kind of proved our point with uh, this UV sterilizer right here. Now I bought the 24 watt, um, really not knowing any better at the time that there's a nine watt version that's a little cheaper that would have done just probably, you know, might have taken a day longer, I guess, I don't know, but it uh, would have done just as good as this one did. Um, and I will post links in the description of the cheapest ones that I found um, in Amazon, probably Amazon Prime ones. I love ordering things off Amazon. And uh, I know that this one, in the stores um, is around $79 and that's in like the PetSmart and the Petco and things like that. I don't know about, you know, the uh, mom and pop stores are probably a little more expensive there, but I've seen them uh, in the lower sixties for that model on Amazon prime. Either, either way, I'll post a link in the description. So very happy with it. I'll never have another tank without a UV sterilizer. Um, you see a little bit of stuff floating in the water right there. That's because I turned off the filters for the video. And the fish are happy. They're loving it. You may see, uh, I think I've, since the last video yesterday, I added this piece and some plants. Uh, the kids were here this weekend and wanted to see some, some new stuff, so... But uh, we've also added, I've also added this black, this sand that you see right here. Um, if you look right there, you can see I've got some gravel. And that's what I had below. But I've actually added this uh, substrate that uh, I saw some other videos on. Did a little bit of studying on it. And no, this is not Tahitian moon sand or anything like that. This is blasting sand from tractor supply um, and if you do some research online you'll find lots of posts and lots of forums where it's going to cut your fish's faces off and it's going to kill everything to I've had it for years and it's perfect but just to give you an idea if you like that color that right there is $7.99 for a 50 pound bag at Tractor Supply versus $25 to $30 for 20 pounds of the other stuff in pet stores. So I like it. I'm going to keep it. I'm actually going to add some more. Anyway, back to the point. This is 72 hours into that bacterial bloom after using the UV sterilizer. Um, and I'm not sure how the video is going to look to you. It actually looks like a little bit of milkiness right here when I'm looking through my camera. But from the naked eye, it's nothing. It looks crystal clear. So, once again, if you don't have one, if you've got milky water, get a UV sterilizer. If you have an algae bloom where your water's turning green, get a UV sterilizer. Once again, I'll put the links to uh, where you can order this one. I'll put one for the 24 watt and the 9 watt if I can find one on uh, all of the videos. Um, if you like to save money and get it from Amazon versus a pet store. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. As you can see, I, or as you just saw, I put two of the older videos in the middle of this one, and because I don't have I don't have algae bloom problems and I don't have bacterial bloom problems to make a before and after a review, a newer before and after review. So I used the old videos in this one. Um, I know some of the some of you subscribers probably haven't gone back that far to see the, some of the old videos. Anyway, there is the UV sterilizer and the big tank. Right here is the, the indicator box with the LED light. Letting me know that the bulb in here is still good. When the bulb goes out, that light will go out. 
Once again, you can get this for $69.99 on Amazon. I'll post a link. Uh, free shipping. You can get it at PetSmart and Petco, I believe, for about $79.99. Uh, you know, plus tax. So you're, if you can wait two days, get it on Amazon, two or three days, you're saving $10 plus the tax. And that's the way I always do it. So. I really highly recommend a UV sterilizer. This is the only one I've ever used, so I can't say that it's better than the rest or worse than the rest because it's the only one I've ever had. But I don't think I'll ever have a tank without one again. As you can see, my water quality, as far as clarity is concerned, it always stays clear. I never have. I just did. Um, I just did a 25% water change about an hour ago. Um, so there might be a little bit of debris floating around in here. Obviously there's some air bubbles floating around, but you don't see an algae bloom after doing, or excuse me, not algae bloom, a bacterial bloom like I was getting in that tank. In that first video, first part of the old video you saw. And once this focuses in, quit pushing on me dog. Once this focuses in, you can see, you know, how clear I'm trying to hold this still. My dog is just nudging me, trying to get me to play with him right now. Just a minute, Harley. So, I've gotten a few questions too on the videos about these when they see my gravel and my sand, wanting to know what it is. I started off with black gravel and then I, um, heard about this black diamond blasting sand so I did some research on it and I went and got a bag of it uh, this is what I'm talking about right here black diamond blasting abrasives this is sold at uh, I think there's only one place you can get it in the United States and that is tractor supply that I've heard I guess I'm sure there's more places but that's where everybody says to get it it's $7.99 for a 50 pound bag you got to clean the hell out of it um, and I'll post a link uh, somewhere down here of my old video that I did on this, on adding it to the tank, so you can see. I have not lost a fish since I got this. Um, there's some people out there that say, oh, it's terrible, It's it's got, uh, uh, they say it's got all kinds of weird stuff in it. And Nope, fish love it. Um, you hear people say that quarry cats, it hurts quarry cats. No, my quarry cat's been great. He's, I don't know if you can see him. That's his little tail wagging back there. He's digging through it. Doesn't hurt him at all. But it is a really cool look. So I'll post a link. Or not a link, I'm sorry. There's no link. I wouldn't, just go to Tractor Supply. Don't try to buy that online. Um, unless you can't find it somewhere. But I'll post a link for the video of that one. I'll post a link in the description for where to get that from Amazon. And again, thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. I think uh, we passed 100 subscribers. We're like at 113, I think, today. Appreciate all of you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And all of you, please share, like, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks.